Hello everybody, welcome to the official cast of the round two match in Group F between Teddy Tom and his Elven Union and Olivier Dulac and his Wood Elves. These are funnily enough both yellow teams, so we've got to have this on red and blue. I mean, I can show you how bad it would look that we could not watch it like this. So uh, thankfully we've got red and blue. Um, I don't know who won the toss, but Olivier's starting with the ball. Well, he might not. He might fail the pickup. He might fail the pickup and lose it. But um, he's starting on offense at least. And if you bear with me, I shall get you the information on these fellas. So Teddy Tom is from the UK. Qualified on PlayStation via the PlayStation WC Open. And Olivier Dulac is, of course, French. His league was tabletop, vent des gods. There you go. <laughs> I can't try to speak French. I can't try to pronounce it properly. Okay? I can't try. It's not. It's just not possible. Is this a frenzied answer? Okay, so Olivier won his first game against Zahu Skaven, 1-0, and Teddy Tom drew against Schertz's Undead, 1-1. Oh, I think I remember now, um, Teddy Tom was very, very aggressive, wasn't he, and gone after the ball, which, you know, could be the, could be the way to win. Oh, the tree's already rooted. Tree with jump up, so... Not going to get any use out of jump up this game, is he? <laughs> he's never getting knocked over because he's drank six. <laughs> um... A couple of sidestep for Olivier it does help against one turns and uh, you know in general a little bit. Strip ball dancer, wrestle lineman, and uh, looking at Teddy Tom, he's got some dodge, a stripper and a wrestler. Oh, and this guy is his sure hands thrower. Yep. Okay, that was a little bit of a uh, disaster on the first turn but we've, we've got there in the end so uh, in terms of casting not in terms of what's happened the routing is unlucky but what can you do no no apple for the pro elves yeah this is whew. I'm sure we're just going to base everything in, in absolutely standard pro elf style elven union what, however you want to call them these days so yeah, Olivia will definitely want to be standing next to the tree as much as possible, right? Keep it keep it relevant and Yeah, we're just basing everything. Classic. Classic pro elves. Not with a blood stepper though. I th you would have thought that a, a one of the blood steppers, or both of the blood steppers, might have gone on the frenzy dancer, right? So you could, you could sidestep into a frenzy trap. Or something. Hmm. Well, this is. Looking mighty dangerous for Teddy Tom. <laughs> Five cast by turn on conceded. Yeah. So looking at the position of this catcher sure makes it look like this lineman's getting surfed, doesn't it? We shall see, maybe not. And yes, st sticking next to the tree for protection. But you know, look, critical one in 36s, they would have been given hits on the ball. 
Some people can succeed them. <laughs> Sorry, did, have I mentioned that I rolled a snake before? I might have done. Doesn't get the surf. Yeah, that was that was uh, that was not good, was it, to give away that surf? But uh, got lucky. Did Teddy Tom? I wonder if you just punch this catcher, probably, right? You might get lucky. It's a 2+, plus, same as dodging, but on a 6 you get lucky and smash it a bit. So, depends, obviously, just how good the, the square you can put him in is. But it's probably not good enough to not punch, I don't think. No, wait. Olivier disagrees. He thinks that square was worth... Uh, was better than punching. And actually, there's a very good argument for that being the case, isn't it? Because otherwise it would have been a 4 plus in to hit the ball on a 1D. So, yeah. Now it's a 5 plus to hit him. If you want to go for it. Yeah, I remember Teddy Tom's going, now. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a high-octane defence for sure. Pushing them over for more punches. Oh, three dicing him, nice. Gets him. And a removal. No apple. And I thought I might have punched him back in with the lineman there. I guess it's like a bigger hole if... It, but it's a bigger hole if the lineman goes down. But on the other hand, I'd rather like fail the block with the lineman than the catcher, right? Because the catcher's 100k with dodge. And he's 60k with nothing. Brings in the assist to punch. One in nine. Instant re-roll. Ooh. So, I mean, now Olivier's in danger, right? He's down to one re-roll. He's already made a bunch of one in 36s. Well, I say a bunch. I think two. Two dodges that would have left him exposed. Now this was a blockless block that would have left him exposed. So, like, you know, things aren't going great for him. He gets the knockdown. He really wanted to, like, pow him into the tree, didn't he? But, um... Did not get that. And yeah, I can do the block before moving the ball in. In fact, I can't move the ball in, right? Because that guy on the ground, I've just realised. Maybe he just has to stay where he is. And now with one reroll, this gets very dangerous for Olivier because, <laughs> you know, he can just he can just mass base and it's dice rolls to make. There's only one reroll. Things can go wrong. The absolute swarming pro elf defense. You can base the ball with a blotch stepper for an instant one in thirty six to win the game. Oh, <laughs> sky trap. Everyone hates elves, don't they? I mean, this kind of thing really works. It really works really well when it works, right? The only problem is, when it doesn't work, you take five cards by turn four and concede. So it's very, like, high risk, high reward. Which I think is the way to play against Olivier, right? You know, it's, if he just tries to, like, play passively I think he'll just lose I think you've got to get after Wood Elves and particularly the number one NAF ranked player in the world I 
Hello, Diamond. It's a bit rubbish for this game because uh, <laughs> I don't think the Proyles will be knocking him over. <laughs> and he's, he's rooted, so it's not as if he's going to try a rush to knock himself over. So, yeah. May maybe not the game for jump up this one. Ooh. So that's, that's, that is an okay spot, but you really want to keep this guy based right because he hasn't got dodge. I think basing the non-dodge players is very good. Yeah, jump up's pretty good on the tree, yeah. pretty It's pretty good. Stand up and move two. Yeah, I kind of hated letting him stand up for free on it, like getting him move for free because he hasn't got a dodge. Like at the end of the day, you want to make the few non-dodge players have to dodge, don't you? Um, he's only got one reroll. End at day. Oof. Makes a 1 in 36 of the ball carry and succeeds. Wow. Must be nice. <laughs> I'm just saying this because uh, because Chavita wrote on the YouTube I wouldn't stop going on about it and now I'm thinking it's funny to keep going on and on about it even more but I won't. I'll try and stop mentioning it. I'll try and stop mentioning it. But you know that was, that was a critical role wasn't it? 3% right there. 3% right there. Olivia's in like mega trouble. So you know he's, there's been like two or three of these already in this drive and so you know, he's just dodging away every turn, isn't he? He's, he's not making many hits back. I think this is pretty good from Teddy Tom. Getting right in his face. You might have to worry a little bit about, you know, a breakaway. So keeping that strip ball catcher back. Gets the knockdown. And another removal. Olivier in trouble. In trouble. He won't be loving this, I tell you. Yeah, jump up, dodge defensive, yeah. Yeah, sure feet, yeah, diamond tackle. <laughs> uh, leap is <laughs> leap is not what you want, is it? But oh I don't like it. So I don't like that he committed the strip, right? Now we've got the potato, and yes, he can chase after him afterwards. But okay, he's got he's got the wrestle to to do the same kind of job. But um, yeah, I'd have put this guy here, right, to stop him jumping over the tree and going away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Olivier's in a lot of trouble, yeah. So he went a bit behind the ball, right? He's got two players behind the ball there. He's got three players. He's got five players behind the ball, which is leaving him very open to a breakaway. But then, you know, these are all somewhat controlled, so it's not easy for Olivier to get forward of the dancer if he does make a break. Like up here, right? He could get these guys out, but it wouldn't be fully easy. He, could, he might end up sideline caging here. Like, you know, he could make some kind of breakaway up through here, like twos. Two's no, it's a three, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So two out from him, and then like three twos out for everybody else. Three threes out. I mean, it's not easy at all. This is uh, this is a bit problematic. But I would have liked maybe the stripper back rather than the wrestler. The best meme was Dimmy's Dimmy's tree man, which was kicking dauntless. <laughs> A dauntless tree. <laughs> it's, it's hard to beat that, isn't it? <laughs> if that tree has to fit, if it has to face deep root, he'll be fine. Lots to think about for Olivier. Oh, 
So he does start with the uh, three three two with dodge makes it. I mean, what a way to open your turn three three plus two plus. And then was that into a one D? A three two into a one D. That's uh, that is a start. That is a first action, isn't it? Oh yeah, death rollers and ball changer. Wow, and then there's another three two with the ball. I mean, this is a lot of trouble, isn't it? Like, there was some di there was some critical dice for Olivier. Wow. Critical, critical, critical. Made all of them. Three, three, t three, two with a ball carrier. Three, two, and a one D with the other dancer. Huge dice rolls. I do think you know, like that. This was the way up, right? So you know, maybe if this guy had been here, it would have kept things a bit better, like caging wise with this one. I probably wouldn't have, but I liked it a bit more. Yeah. The problem that Teddy Tom had was that this this good pressure just used so much, right? Like maybe this catcher should have been here as well, right? So he had two players there, and then like this catcher here, then there would have been like no way forward for Olivier, but like this was the obvious escape route, wasn't it? But it still wasn't easy for him. Like, he's just made every dice roll. He's just made every dice roll. Wow. That's that's really rough for Teddy Tom. That was uh, that was probably his chance to win it, and he probably won't get a better chance than that for the rest of the match. He might get a two-turn chance here. Maybe, maybe he can swing back. Maybe he can swing back and get a two, like, you know, get enough pressure to get a two-turn chance. Yeah, he, he kind of went all in, didn't he? And yeah, maybe just like maybe this, maybe this throw that uh, catcher was just one, one too far behind the ball, one too many behind the ball. Doesn't go for the ball. I mean, he can he can still get the blood stepper in right on in stand in front. I actually. Don't like this. He's got the. He's got this guy here. I would have put this guy in, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But now I guess he doesn't have to do the dodge, so he can get in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he can get the blood stepper there. But surely it's better to have. He did a dodge for no reason. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> Also, he fails it, by the way, after Olivier makes every dodge under the sun last turn. But, yeah, that was a four-plus dodge for no reason. Could have just gone up and across. Wow. That is brutal. That is brutal. Oof. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. And it means he doesn't have all these blocks. It means he doesn't have this guy back. And it means he doesn't have a blood step in the way. And it means this guy gets surfed. Okay, he doesn't actually get served. Can't use his uh, can't use his last reroll to get the surf. I'm sure the auto path doesn't make it a four plus. Like that's just weird. There's no reason that the auto path would make that a four plus instead of just not going there. So I don't know what's happened there from Teddy Tom, but um, what did he roll? He rolled a one and a two. The the dice that would have killed Olivier on on that previous turn. Wow.
Wow, 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 wow. Well, Teddy Tom has got to pull himself together, hasn't he? And uh, you know, at the end of the day, clicking the right squares is part of the game, isn't it? You know, yes, it's not a blood ball mistake. But it is a Blood Bowl 3 mistake. You are playing a video game. Clicking the right thing is all 99% of games are, isn't it? <laughs> At the end of the day. <laughs> Nearly every game, that's that's the entirety of the game. So, um, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, it sucks, but that's the game you're playing. And... Wow. It went so well. It went so well for him. He got within a hair's breadth of beating Olivier Dulac in the World Championship. But now, it looks like he's going to get stalled out till turn 8. And, uh, yeah. You never know, though. Things can happen. Things can happen. Don't say it's over. I, I guess he's going to go for the ball sack, eh? 4-4. Four, four. Or he can come in here. He can come in this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, he can't. Wait, no, this isn't a dodge. It's just a 4. Oh my god, why was I thinking that was a dodge? So it's a 4 plus to 1D in with Wrestle. And if he powers him, he could go in the, in the crowd. So I guess Olivier done goofed and should have gone up there, shouldn't he? In fact, he can dodge to make it a 2D. One, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush. Oh, man. If only he'd, like, he'd got this guy back, right? He could have had the stripper back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The stripper could have been here. If he just hadn't misclicked. Even with everything else. Hold Gim. Oh, he goes in for the 1D. Reroll this. Skull. Honestly, if you're going to do that move, I think you have to do this first, right? If you're going to reroll a 1D, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, rush, rush. It's 4 2 pluses, but then that gives you 2D on the ball. And if you power it in the crowd, then you, you, can, you can get the ball. I think that was. Or, like, you know. I don't know, block this guy first. Block this guy and get him back if you're only gonna one D it. But then you really want him to you really want these two to be able to react if you um if you get it out. I think he had to if you, yeah, if you're gonna spend the reroll you have to you have to do all the four two pluses to make it a two D. I don't think it was a really greedy reroll, I think it was just like it was his only chance to stop the score, right? It's a one D with wrestle. You five plus to get him down, and if you full power him it can scatter out the end zone. That's uh, out the end zone, scatter off the field. So I think it was a fine, a fine re-roll, but the problem is, if you're going to re-roll it, it's kind of better to just make it a two dice, right? Is it? Is it better to make it a two dice? Let's find out. To Samba, I feel like it is. I feel like it is. So doing the all the two pluses. Oh, he actually had three rerolls. Oh yeah, so it's way better, right? It's way better because he's got three rerolls. It's unquestionably way better to do that. I was doing it in Samba, and then what a waste of time because <laughs> because he had three rerolls, three rerolls to chuck at it. So it's like it's basically infinitely better to do it. Um, by the way, with one reroll. It's slightly better to do it with four dodges first. The four dodges first makes it 42.4, and the non dodges make it 41.6. So it was actually really close with just one reroll. But when you think you can chuck three rerolls at it, it's incredibly better to make it the two dice.
Wow. Sad for Teddy Tom. That was real close. Real close to getting the uh, the turnover. And because he's out, like it would have probably been a defensive touchdown, right, as well if he'd got it. So yeah, that was a a really really costly misclick. Yeah, that's the game, isn't it? That is the game. Is he going to try and one day the ball here? Three dice a catcher and base the ball with sidestep. <laughs> I mean, that gives him about a 1 in 36 chance, doesn't it? Oh no, he 1Ds, goes in for 1D, gets the full pal! Oh, dude, well, you shouldn't have activated everybody. Oh, he gets the catch with catch. Outrageous. If he hadn't activated everybody, he could have maybe he's got a recovery, right? But he literally activated everyone first. You can blitz him for the free roll at the pow. Oh no, he can't because then he could sidestep to there. So that was another one in 36 and he failed the one but used dodge. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Hello, Jerem nerd. <laughs> wow, so there you go. Uh, one turn, obviously, basically impossible versus two sidestep and a stand firm. Maybe if you get a quick snap. Maybe, right? It is, yeah, yeah. Very interesting, isn't it, that he hasn't taken Skaven. But this was a good rules pack for Woodies. I'm not sure, but I feel like Wood Elves won every single game in the first round. I'm going to look it up now. Oh, no, they drew. The first one, Group A, they drew. K-Fog. <laughs> of all the people. Of all the people... K Fog didn't win. Tree and Strider both won. Olivier won. Le Marcelet won. Ah, Serafino drew. Nayaga won. So five drew and five won and two drew. Maybe I'm missing somebody. I felt like more than seven. Five won and two drew. So undefeated round one, the Wood Elves. Looking very strong. Man, they're pretty good. Pretty good players, to be fair. On the. Uh, that have chosen Wood Elves. <laughs> he had the best opponent. You. <laughs> it's 
this was pretty hard, right? But I think what you do is you set up for the one to for the quick snap into there, and then like do dodges, and then um, to fill. Probably shouldn't have had these next to each other, and then could have pushed him one, then pushed him a second one. So it, it was possible with a quick snap, but um, pretty much impossible without. One second. Sorry, little dirt bags outside. Oh, he failed. He failed the foul and got sent. <laughs> okay, I, did he? Surely he wasn't fouling the tree. What? Yeah, eleven. Oh dear. There's no need to foul the tree. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything. The tree doesn't do anything. Better just to foul the lineman. Fouling a lineman is more likely to work and has a greater impact. Oh, he didn't need he didn't need twelve. He had, he had three assists, so he needed an eight or more. But um, and he's got the reserve, so like there was no reason not to foul. It was absolutely correct to foul. But like, just foul the catcher or whatever. Did it? Did he knock anybody else over? Yeah, yeah, foul the catcher for sure, yeah. For sure foul the catcher instead. I, could, I couldn't care less about the tree. He's not going to do anything, is he? He's moving too. <laughs> like, he's just literally not going to do anything. <laughs> Completely irrelevant. Like, I thought it was a great... Uh, I thought it was a great strat from K-Fog to take the, you know, everybody dodge no tree because then he'll get to win the Wood Elf Mirrors, which... Look to be the look to be the strongest team in this cup. Five wins and two draws for Woodies in the first round. Very strong. I think the Dark Elves did quite well as well in the first round, but I think I think Wood Elves did the best. Wood Elves are really good, aren't they? They are, and it was a good package as well. The fact they're getting 10k more money and an extra skill on, on ahead of Dark Elves is pretty, pretty good, isn't it? It's weird how people seem to want to make Wood Elves tier 2, which is like... I don't know, right? Like, they were historically the best team in Blood Bowl by a mile. And then, and then, oh, they're no longer the best team by a mile. We'd better just make them tier two again. Like, like we better make them tier two now because they're not the best by a mile. It's so weird. Tabletop as they, they've got their, they've got their ideas and the status quo, and they don't want things to change. Luckily, no blitz kickoff result for Teddy Tom because uh, that was not the most defended against a blitz. That is pretty huge, actually, isn't he getting the third dice, the third dicing, the third reroll there for Olivia? Well, I mean, I don't think, 
I don't think that w that um, American tournaments are the answer, to be honest, Bucky. <laughs> but I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> Um. <laughs> okay, uh, now I'm also remembering game one for Teddy Tom on offense and not really caring about the ball too much. Which may be punished a little more versus Wood Elves than versus Undead. I don't like getting this guy punched by the tree either. Like, okay, I get that you want to make blocks, but you blocking AV8 plus to get three dice back with Mighty Blow isn't a great trade, is it? Okay, maybe it is. Just killed him. <laughs> Straight up killed him. No problem. <laughs> Wow. Wrong again. Stupid Jim. <laughs> His tree foul would have worked. He'd be alright. <laughs> but it, it was absolutely correct to foul because he, he had the he had twelve players. And it was correct to argue the call rather than use a bribe because he's got you know he's got the second half, so he did the right thing to an extent, but I do think it would have been better fouling a catcher than fouling the tree. I'm not sure about just giving these punches. Oh, well, I guess he's not going to punch with a dancer, or he's just not going to care about the frenzy trap. He's going to blitz with the... I don't know what he's going to do. Nine ads. That's outrageous, come on, LDG. You'll have to... You'll have to campaign Twitch for a way to remove ads somehow. Outrageous. Yeah, he's going to blitz, blitz him free. Quite a nice basing there for uh, Teddy Tom. Might not have been as good if uh, if you power that. Yeah, maybe not. Somebody has to pay for the spreadsheets. <laughs> Olivia did this line last uh, last game as well. It's the third dice. Here's the power. Is there a way it could be twelve? <laughs> Unfortunately, I've lost access to my account, so there's no way for me to make it twelve adverts. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Turns out, turns out it wasn't such a great idea, but it was a trade. But I think the trade is probably worse, right? When you're against Wood Elves, you'd probably rather be eleven versus eleven than ten versus ten. So I guess this is 10 versus 8 now, isn't it? As long as you stay away from the tree. But he's put his ball two squares away from the tree, which means his tree is definitely hitting something again. Do not like. Just run away from the tree. He's movement too. <laughs> Just walk away. <laughs> Make like a tree and walk away. You know, that's the saying, isn't it? No, Lowell, no. No. I won in 36. And uh, still relatively safe. Relatively safe, isn't it? He's got the blood stepper there. So he did cover that. But I mean, Olivia's definitely going to open with a three dice tree block and kill another elf. Probably. No, he might, he might not open with a tree, right? He's got he's got two dancers. He might he might block with block. What a lame and boring strategy to block with block. But um, 
and is the best one. Mm. Was that, was that, um, I think that was Back to the Future, wasn't it, when he said, make like a tree and go away. I always, I always thought that was funny. <laughs> But like, you can, you can just walk away. He's movement too. He's movement too, you can just walk away. Like, you know, orcs can't, right? Orcs and undead and stuff that, you know, undead have just got to feed him a zombie for the whole game. Orcs have got to feed him a lineman for the whole game. And hope that like, you know, when one gets stunned, you can put in another one and stuff and he might cast it. Like, you don't really have a lot of choice if you're like, you're a slow and agile team. But, you know, pro elves can just walk away. Everybody's agility 2 plus, lots of them have dodge. Make like a train, get out of here, ah, oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Running out of time on this turn, Olivier. That's uh, that's something. You must really be trying to focus very hard. Not even stunned. What a champ! This is a frenzy trap. Two into one. I don't know why it's a frenzy trap. Olivier felt like making it a frenzy trap, I guess, and uh, gets a stun. Why not? Olivia could, of course, just blitz from here and then pushed him into there, but didn't. But it's okay if you just roll, if you just roll, you know. Just roll good dice. The tree does indeed have jump up here. Yeah. So, Olivier is two skills down for this game because he's obviously never getting knocked over. Well, apart from the turn he got fouled, but you know. <laughs> he's not going to get to use jump up this game, is he? I like just the big line that Olivier uses, honestly. That's a pretty good defence. I'm not sure I've seen him do it with the Skaven. I guess because, like, Gutter's right, he's always got to protect, but, uh. He just seems to do a big long line every turn with Wood Elves. I might copy it with Dark Elves. I mean, zombies, the thing with zombies, though, right, the whole team's slow, so you can't, the rest of your team can't get away from him, right? Your whole team's stuck. You can't four plus your whole team away, right? So, like, your whole team gets stuck on the, stuck doing things and punching, and, like, you don't want to dodge away the rest of the team. The rest of the team wants to punch, so, you, you know, punchy teams inevitably get stuck on the tree and have to, either they have to fight it and knock it over, or they have to, uh, you know, feed it a lineman, essentially. I didn't, Dimmy. I haven't mentioned it yet, this game. So, uh, no, I have actually. I lied. I started saying it a lot after you said and mentioned it as a joke, but then I thought maybe I won't because people will think I'm a... I'm a dirtbag. <laughs> Woo! I tell you what, Teddy Tom must be. It, it, Keith, is this is this your alt? Like he obviously likes trees a lot, doesn't he? I don't know why he's feeding him good elves every turn. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Is he 110k? Is he? Is he 110k player plus dodge? Are they 100? No, he's 100. Is he 100 pro elf catcher? 100, 100k player with dodge, so 120. Please, smash me to pieces. <laughs> P 
punch me harder, Olivier. <laughs> I don't. I don't like this. He gets to push this one into the tree as well, which is nice. Well, nearly. Ooh, just using a dancer for the assist. I might have used a lineman for the assist there, I don't know, and just keep the like, dancer back. I guess he couldn't get very far back, so. Trip school's here, and he gets to go through, so that's why we've moved a catcher here to stop this. Oh, he gets a pal! No way! Doesn't follow! Kazas? Oh, I'm surprised I'm absolutely shocked that a tree would completely murderize something. <laughs> oh, I'm not being mean. I'm not being mean. Okay, to Teddy Tom. I'm not being mean. I'm not being mean. But like, feeding him a movement 8 agility 2 plus dodge player, it's like... Like, it doesn't need to be him who gets. Like, I, you don't need to cage two squares away from him, right? So we could get into your ball anyway. You don't need to scare the square, cage two squares away from him. But if you do, you sure don't need to put that guy on him when the, you know there's, you've got linemen on the team. So this is a massacre now for Teddy Tom. Five, six, seven, eight players versus eight elves. Um, I expected the tree man to be a non-factor, but of course I was wrong. I don't think they got a bias ref, I just think it was a extra bribe, I just think it was a free bribe. There's no, there's no bias ref, is it? It's there's a, there's something else for it. It's not bias ref. I just used the, used the bribe on a five just now. With the catcher on the left, he sidestep though, to me, so you have to full power him. And he go there, so you'd still have to dodge everyone through. I mean, I would have just not fed people to the tree for three turns and then hopefully been... used the apple on that KO. Dancer. That was, that was the problem with assisting, right? It did expose him to the blitz. No, no, Teddy's still got the bribe. Teddy's still got the bribe. Teddy's got the bribe. He, d he didn't use the bribe, he just argued the call on the tree foul. So he's still got the bribe to, to foul a bit on this drive. Just needs... Uh Just needs a bit of penetration, doesn't he? <laughs> Bloody red from all the elves, yeah. Yeah, the, the, by the way, the red and blue is absolutely necessary because it's yellow versus yellow. But yeah, very appropriate for the tree. Ah, he's got the sidestepers holding each, each end. In your endo. 
I actually don't like this from Olivier. I would have actually held a, a bit more over this side, right? Because now, what's open is the dancer foul, isn't it? If you can pow that catcher. <laughs> Uphill pow the tree. <laughs> Cheeky stun. Oh god, maybe he is going to uphill pow the tree. It is just a 2D uphill. Then he could foul the tree afterwards. Blitzes the sidestepper, doesn't power him. Olivia really thinking about this sidestep. Going in the time bank on the sidestep. Um, Teddy Tom has popped dodge on that 2 plus away, so I don't think he'll try the 3 3 2 afterwards. No, ends the turn. Still not into his time bank, Teddy Tom, by the way, after 13 turns. Olivia's down to, you know, under 3 minutes. Um, we're definitely going to surf this down, this, uh, definitely going to surf this blitzer, by the way. <laughs> One million percent surfing this blitzer, I can't believe he followed. But, um, yep. I guess he hasn't got many players, Olivier, right? I guess Olivier hasn't got too many players. But... You have to, don't you? You have to. I feel like you have to serve him. Well, tree doesn't do anything. I mean, maybe, right, maybe, maybe it's too big a commitment. I'd surf him for sure. <laughs> but we're not surfing him. Wow. No, I wouldn't surf both. I think both is too many. It's too also too hard, right, with that guy in the way. That guy in the way made it too hard, but it was easy to surf one. I would definitely surf this guy. Because you just bring in like one there and one there, and then surf him, and then move the guy who surfed back out, and then he can move back out as well. So you're only leaving like two players there. It's not that much of a commitment. Uh, sorry, three, you leave. Yeah, yeah, you just leave two players there. So it's not even that much of a commitment. I'd have definitely gone for the double serve. Yep. Oh, well now this isn't a sidestepper. And this is a two plus away. And this is a... Oh, he's a sidestepper. Wow. If you just try and wrestle him, everyone goes through on twos. Oh my god, dub skulls instant. Okay, well at least at least the at least the blitz is not in danger anymore. <laughs> I guess that was the most important thing to just make sure he's not served. Oh 
Oh yeah, you can blitz him. The problem is, like, the dead body of the catcher is still go going to, like, make you, uh, make it hard to... Like, you're still gonna have to dodge. Oh, he didn't even power... Wait, what? He chose the push! To make this push guarantee clearing the ball. I'm not sure it was worth that. But, fair enough. I don't think it was worth it. Because it took like two, it took like an extra player, didn't it? And it made him not power him. Yes, he definitely has a ball safety problem. He's also dodging through without dodge. Again, refuses to get away from the tree. Just absolutely determined to keep the tree relevant. And just doesn't have the ball and dodge, right? Like, having the ball on this thrower is not good enough. Not good enough at all. No, he had he had to honestly versus versus Wood Elves, he had to have the ball in a bludger. Oh dear. Well Well that is probably all she wrote. Yes, G five. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If you if you sidestep it in a bad square, you just you just you know yeah yeah. No, I didn't I didn't like that. Another tree cards. <laughs> Ooh, dub skulls, not quads. <laughs> Knocks him over, catches it. I mean, Olivia's certainly had the look. Olivia's absolutely had the look this game, by the way. Hasn't, basically hasn't failed a single dice roll. Um, when he got sacked on a one dice pow, he caught it immediately. Um, but also, you know, I think he's definitely, uh, I think he's also definitely played better. But you know, on D Teddy Tom again. Teddy Tom was pretty good on defense, right? Like if he if he had just managed to not do a pointless four plus dodge, or just pass that pointless four plus dodge, he really had Olivia in a lot of trouble on defense. A lot of trouble. But yeah, Olivia just basically hasn't failed the dice roll all game. Which of elves don't fail dice rolls? Ooh, I don't like this. He could have he could have come here. I think this seems a lot I think this is a lot better dodging to here, by the way. Don't don't get that at all. I love this dodge to here, and then this guy can even come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? That's way better. I don't don't like that at all from Olivier, but Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. The strippers KO. We've got Wrestle here. So you know you can get a you can get a one D on the ball easily. so easily. I don't know why I did that. So, yep. Yeah. 
Well, that's uh, pretty safe, isn't it? Even gets to win 2 0 now as well. This time he's managed to stand in the right column and not the uh, not Chun's column, so he could get knocked in. You know the ball in the crowd. This time he's gone three in. <laughs> Another cast for the tree. I've never been so wrong about a tree in my life. I was like, it won't get to do anything in this mirror. <laughs> Instead, it just massacred half of the pro house. <laughs> Absolutely massacred them. <laughs> Man, you could have reached. You could have reached the ball. One, two, three, four, five, rush, rush. You could have literally reached. And then he won in nine. <laughs> oh dear. Don't, don't block Olivier. You lunatic! You absolute loon! <laughs> I think he was trying to get another tree, Kaz. I think he was trying to get another tree, Kaz, but um, it's, you know, touchdown scored is a possible tiebreaker. But now with two wins, um, Olivier, wait a minute, Teddy Tom drew as well with shirts in the first round. So now with two wins, I believe. Olivier's place in the finals is assured. So they well not in the finals, in the round of thirty-two. I believe Olivier has assured his spot in the round of thirty-two. I could be incorrect. Don't quote me on that, but I believe Olivier is in the final thirty-two after these two victories. So they go, congratulations to him. Commiserations to, to, to Teddy Tom. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.